No, there's a fish there. Oh boy. Not really acting like a pike either. Doing some head shakes. Could this be first walleye of the year? Feels decent weight. Honestly. Big, oh, big walleye. Big walleye. Big walleye. <laughs> big big walleye. walleye. <gasps> Woo! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are way up here in northern Wisconsin and we are going to be doing some pike fishing and hopefully some walleye fishing. We're basically just gonna be targeting walleyes tonight. I don't know how it's gonna be, but we wanted to do an early ice walleye video for you guys. And we know that there's a lot of pike in this lake, so we're gonna probably set some tip-ups out early and hopefully get hooked up with some pike. And then as it gets dark, we're gonna transition into walleye fishing tonight. We are fishing one of our all-time favorite walleye lakes for winter and spring. This lake holds some absolute giants oh yeah so this is something we've been just waiting for i mean this is stuff you dream of waiting for early ice uh, this is what really gets us going is this lake specifically but we do love our early ice walleye fishing and we know you guys love it as well so we're really excited to be out here today as you can tell we got some snow yep. up where we are today which is a little bit different because so far what we've been fishing has just been pretty solid ice no snow at all but we are uh we're up in the north woods we're sure way today, up here so guys <laughs> different elements up here but what we have to do today like brandon was saying was pike fish so we got tip-ups only today and then yeah go for pike first so have your leaders switch leaders put the walleye leaders on and then go for walleyes the rest of the video so yep. we're hoping for a good day here yep so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start chiseling out some holes actually we got the drill with us because it seems like we're working with quite a bit of ice here so we're gonna see how much ice we've got we'll uh, we'll start drilling out some holes and we'll see you guys in just a little bit all right so we just got finished drilling all of our holes we're gonna be starting to set our tip ups now like we said before we are gonna be starting the day by going for some pike so I'm gonna start off by showing you guys how I like to rig up and set my tip ups for pike starting at the bottom end we got probably 25 inch leader this is 30 pound mono to a size 4 gamagatsu red hook split shot just to get the middle down and that is what we got there you got your standard black tip up line you can use whatever you want for that doesn't really matter and first step while setting a tip up and i'd like to say we are going for pike right away but i am going to be actually setting them uh, like the depth for a walleye just because you never know when the walleyes are going to be coming through and the pike are going to eat it regardless of where you set it. So I got a depth finder. I'm going to send it down, get to the bottom. Once I found the bottom, you're going to pinch off right where the bottom is. And then you're going to compensate for this part right here being in the water. So that way, you know, this is the bottom now. And for walleye on this lake, this spot right here specifically is rocky so i'm only going to set it probably six inches under we're in about six feet i'd say five or six feet of water right now now this is where i'm going to want it set so i'm going to go ahead and find myself a bobber now some people like to use bobbers other people like to use buttons and some people don't like to use anything they just reel this up to the spool call her good the only real benefit to this is that every time you get a flag you can just reel up to the bobber and you know that's the depth that you set your tip up on before. So it takes a lot less hassle. You don't have to set it every single time. Go ahead, take this depth finder off. Go ahead and get a minnow. We've got a mixture right now. We got a bunch of shiners and we got suckers. I'm gonna put on a shiner for the meantime just because that seems to be pike candy. We're gonna send that down. You're gonna reel up to this bobber and just like that once I get to it you are set I'm gonna set it on the heavier side you got two settings on the beaver dam a light and a heavy we got the wind blowing in from this way so we don't want the flag to trip so put it on the side of the wind and that's it we are set we got our first flag we're gonna set five more here and uh, yeah, we're probably gonna give it a good hour, hour and a half of pike fishing, see what happens, and then we're gonna transition into walleye. All right, well, we just got all six tip-ups into the water, and we started setting up shack closer to shore, and we just got a tip-up. First one of the year, baby. Let's go, tip-up! Oh, stop. Oh, 
Oh no. Fell on the ground. Off. <laughs> this fell over, that was cool. It might have hurt us running. So it might have taken off. It looks like it stopped. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Here we go, guys. First tip up of the 2021 2022 season. Let's go. Got him. Ooh, feels decent. Here he comes. He's a feisty little bugger. Clear eyes, you can see him. Here he comes. Oh, yeah, Decent right sized there. pike. Woo, big run. Oh boy, first one of the year. Ooh, he's he's a fighter. I can't tell quite how big he is. He looked decent. He's no 40. Here he comes. Pike. Alright. There we go, baby. Woo! First one of the year. Not a giant by any means, feisty little guy. Got him right in the mouth, look at that. See if I can get this out of here real quick. All right, there we go. Got him out, one last look at him. First one of the year, guys, that's exciting. Probably about, I don't know, just over 20 maybe. It's just under 25. Decent little pike. Get a release on this guy. First pike of the year, first tip up of the year. There he goes, that's so cool under that clear ice like that. Woo, all yeah, right. We wanted to clear a spot so later we yeah. get them big fat mamas coming out. Oh, there. yeah. We can see them under the ice. Oh, yeah. Woo, well, that's exciting. We've got probably about, I don't know, three inches over on this side at least, almost four. So, good sign. Nice, clear, thick ice. First fish of the year. That is awesome. We're going to go ahead and get this one back into the water and uh, see if one of these other flags goes up. Shouldn't be hopefully too much longer. We'll get another flag. Alrighty guys, well as you can tell, it's a little bit darker, but we just got another flag. It's been a little while, we've actually only caught one pike so far today, and this is our second flag. We just got done switching our leaders over to our walleye leaders, something just a little bit lighter, a little bit more finesse. But we've got another flag, we set out the lights, saw a blinker, it's our farthest tip up, so let's go see what we got. First blinking light of the season we switched a little early just because the pike fishing wasn't all really that great we only fished for about an hour and switched to our uh, walleye setups and normally on this lake it is strictly an after dark bite for walleye um, but every other lake the sun's going down right now this is prime time uh, just from what i've noticed throughout my life fishing this lake it's just usually been after dark but this was as soon as we switched to the lighter lighter lines, so it's possible it could be a pike, could be a walleye. Really, I'll be happy with either. So, not really moving a whole lot. Not a great sign, but it's been up for a little bit. We just were on the other side on our farthest tip up, setting the leader, and saw this one go up, so probably just gonna check it right away. Looks like it ran some line for sure. I don't know. He was in the weeds. He got off. Shoot. Her way, maybe. No, yeah, a lot of weeds. A lot of weeds. I don't know. I've seen some surprises on this lake. <laughs> I mean, there is weight. There is weight, but I think I'm just pulling it through weeds. Took out a lot of lion. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of weight, actually. Not a lot. Well, it's not head shaking yet. I gotta be pulling weeds. No, there's a fish there. Really? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not really acting like a pike either. Doing some head shakes. Could this be first walleye of the year? Very well could be. I'm really hoping it is. A bobber. Feels decent weight. Honestly. But it could have a lot of weeds. Oh yeah. Big, oh, big, walleye. big walleye. Big walleye. Big, big walleye. walleye. Oh. Holy I don't want to God. force it, I got light line. I'm going to let him oh. run if he wants. That's 28. That's a biggin' dude. That's a freaking pig. That's a good way to start. He's not up yet. He's not up yet. He's being pretty frisky, kind of making me nervous. Look at that. Yeah, dude. That's a tank. That is a tank. Ooh. That's over the slot for sure. Yeah, that's like a 28 inch. That thing looked fat. Oh my gosh. Here he comes. Look at that, guys. Oh, 
And the problem is we don't have like a ton of ice either. So there's nothing really to get them like up. You know what I mean? So we're, we're dealing with like three inches of ice. So he's kind of like up and I gotta just like scoop him. I'm just gonna play him. Uh, we usually like to use, believe it or not, this is really light, but eight pound fluorocarbon is usually what we like Look to use. Look at that walleye, you guys. That's a giant. That is a giant. Come on, baby. God, he's making me nervous. He doesn't want to come up. I'm gonna try it on this one. Nope. nope not, not ready yet. Not ready yet. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is heart racing. This is a big fish, guys. This is a Mondo. Look at that freaking walleye. Come on. Come on. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Woo! Oh my gosh! Show me that pig! Oh my goodness! That's a freaking fatty, dude! That is one hell of a way to start walleye fishing. Oh my god. Of the 2021 season. That is a freaking cow of a walleye. Look at how fat that thing is. Oh my gosh. Holy. All right. It's not extremely cold out, but I am going to set this fish back in here quick. We don't have a bump board or anything. Um, we do have a chisel and we do have a scoop with like some sort of measurement to at least get to like 20 and get an idea. But if I had to guess, this fish is all of 27 at least, but that's eight pounds plus. This thing is a monster. All right, guys, got him unhooked, got him measured. As you can tell, this is what we measured him with. This whole thing is 20. We roughly, roughly guess, but he should be around 26, 26 and a half. But this fish is all of eight pounds. I mean, this is one of the fattest 26 inches. I probably ever caught, but this lake has some incredible genes. It is not uncommon every time we come out here that we catch fish over eight pounds. And that is why this is the best part. You release every single one of these giants because these fish in these smaller lakes up here in Northern Wisconsin have to be taken such good care of. There she goes. Look you have to take such good care of these fish, especially because I want to come back up here and I want to catch that fish again. It has every opportunity to get to 30 inches. We've seen 30 inches come out of this lake and to see it go back and just to experience it. Fishing is about the memories, right? It's not always about killing. There is a time and a place for that. I get it. But fish like that, you got to let them go. Now, in the midst of all of that, one, we have a tip up that is completely destroyed, but we do have another tip up over yonder. Brandon spotted a blinking red light. And if that is the first fish of the night, Oh boy, because there are some absolute giants. And if that is, if that's hitting, oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Holy crap, my first blinker of the year. Well, still not sure what to expect because the sun has not completely set, but it's close. Now this one came after the last one and we figured that one could potentially be a pike. It was not, which guides me to think that this one should also be a walleye, but you never know. Now we had a pretty large sized sucker on here. So theoretically, big sucker means big fish. Definitely took mine out, like a lot of line. Yeah, it sure did. Got him, he's there. How's it feel? Oh, it feels like it just came off. Could have slack. I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's there. I felt him for a minute. He kicked big time. Didn't feel huge. Might have been a smaller walleye just trying to take it and choke it down and it just couldn't because it was too big of a sucker. Yeah, there's nothing here. Well, it's been a while. It's been a long while. We've gone through a lull here tonight. It's now, it's gotta be at least 6.30, almost seven o'clock. And the last two flags that we had were at sundown. 
So we had probably a good two hour lull at least. Finally got another flag. We're gonna head over there right now, see what we've got. Hopefully took out a decent amount of line. Oh yeah, definitely. Not feeling much, but just a little tension. Feels like it's just coming with me right now. Here's the bobber, it's right here. Oh boy. Oh, what in God's name. It hooked a stick, look at that. <laughs> I have never before seen that. Nice wow. catch. Good one too, look at that. Holy. Holy cow. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wow, I don't even know what to that say. That is hilarious. You want to hold it up? Actually, just yeah, let me see let's it. Just, let's just appreciate it for what it really is, you know? Oh, I broke it. Broke my catch. Whew, just made it back to the vehicle. We're back at the truck. What a send. Absolute grind out there today. Waited for hours and hours and hours. And uh, somehow we only came away with two fish and a very large stick that we managed to catch as well. But. The one fish that we did catch was an absolute game changer. And if you guys like watching huge, ginormous walleyes come topside on top of the ice, you're gonna wanna make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us because we would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell because you're gonna want alerts every time that we post a video. It's still early ice. This is our very first walleye send of the year and it's just getting started. We are definitely going to be doing more pike fishing, more walleye fishing in the near future. More lakes are starting to freeze up here in northern Wisconsin. So we're going to get a little bit more of a variety going forward here in the near future. But again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us. Also hit the subscribe button if you're new. Go ahead, check out our new merch line on nbedits.com. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBS.